The Book of Proverbs, Chapter 9. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn out her seven pillars. She has killed her beasts. She has mingled her wine. She has also furnished her table. She has sent forth her maidens. She cries upon the highest places of the city. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. As for him that wants understanding, she said to him, Come, eat of my bread and drink of my wine, which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish and live, and go in the way of understanding. He that reproves a scorner gets to himself shame, and he that rebukes a wicked man gets himself a blot. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is in the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. But if thou scorns, thou alone shalt bear it. A foolish woman is clamorous, she is simple and knows nothing, for she sits at the door of her house, on a seat in the high places of the city, to call passengers who go right on their ways. Whoso is simple, let him turn in thither, and as for him that wants understanding, she says to him, Stolen waters are sweet, and bread even a secret is pleasant, but he knows not the dead are there and that her guests are in the depths of hell. Chapter 10 The Proverbs of Solomon A wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivers from death. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casts away the substance of the wicked. He becomes poor that deals with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. He that gathers in summer is a wise son, but he that sleeps in harvest is a son that causes shame. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a panting fool shall fall. He that walks uprightly walks surely, but he that prevails his ways shall be known. He that perverts his ways shall be known. He that wrinkled with the eye, he that winks with the eye causes sorrow, but a panting fool shall fall. The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. Hate stirs up strifes, but love covers all sins. In the lips of him that have understanding, wisdom is found. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of the righteous tenders to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. He is in the way of life that keeps instruction, but he that refuses reproof errs. He that hides hatred with lying lips, and he that utters a slander is a fool. In the multitude of words there wants not sin, but he that refrains his lips is wise. The tongue of the just is as choice silver, the heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. The blessings of the Lord it makes rich, and adds no sorrow with it. It is a sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding has wisdom. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. As the whirlwind passes, so is the wicked no more, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation. As vinegar to the teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that send him. The fear of the Lord prolongs days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope of righteous shall be gladness, but the exception of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. 
The mouth of the just bring forth wisdom, but the froward tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speaks frowardness. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.